I don't know everything, but there's some things I do know. I know, I know. I've read and heard about, and now I'm ready to show that we can come together and think like one. Hey, I remember that. Live it together underneath the sun. Please, 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 just let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you the way to go. Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Now, y'all know y'all wrong. Okay, y'all are gone too far. Y'all know we got guests. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I already heard uh, Jalen Brown when they asked him how did he feel about uh, Princess of Wales and uh, her husband, William, being in town and they took in his Celtic game. And he just said, oh. It was just a regular game to me because you know how the press is. Oh, what do you think about the Royals family being here? He said it. Oh, it's just an. Oh, it was just another game to me. He didn't flinch. He didn't break. And I'm so glad that people are beginning to speak unhypocritically to power. I'm so happy. God is pleased with it, and so am I. Then they turned around and asked the coach. <laughs> they said. Oh, I asked your teammate, but aren't you glad that you had royalty inside watching the game last night? And then he goes, who? Jesus, Mary, and Joseph? <laughs> she said, no, no, I'm talking about the royal family, William and Kate. He said, oh, oh the only royal family I know is uh, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. And it was actually hilarious because I know exactly, and most of y'all know exactly where he's coming from. You better look at the people that you ask him before you ask that stupid stuff. We don't like colonizers. Whether they're from America or whether they're from the great British Empire that the sun was supposed to never set on. Do you understand that? That's all oppression. We don't like it. We're sick of it. And guess what? It's about to be a new day. You just don't understand. But you will. So now, y'all and went crazy. Oh, oh Lord. Lord. Have mercy. Y'all don't understand. <laughs> and y'all should know better than to do what you are doing to... Um, the, the the prince. So now y'all throwing eggs at King Charles. Yeah, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Y'all are now throwing eggs at King Charles again <coughs> during a walkabout as man in his twenties is arrested on suspicion of common assault. An egg was thrown at King Charles today. Again, according to the police who arrested a man in his 20s, the monarch is believed to have been targeted during a walkabout in the uh, in Luton Town Center. Uh, you know that woman is getting uh, Ngozi is getting death threats because she refused to tell that other lady where she was from, and so there's a lot of people that are just. Uh, black and white. It's just not a. Um, it's just not a black and white thing. It is people that is understanding what the monarchy represents and who they are, and they're tired of it. You know, so it's really interesting that this is happening at this time and at this space. And 
and, and they weren't ready for it. I guess, you know, they didn't believe that all good things will come to an end. Well, it's good on their part. It's horrible on the oppressed part. And our part, that's why I said two people can be looking at the exact same thing and see it so different. Because it's obvious that they operate off a different stimulus. And so once we can understand that, we can deal with the rest of it. Okay? Um, th this is crazy. <laughs> so, y'all, don't throw no more eggs at uh, uh, this man. Now, dismantle white supremacy the right way. Uh, you know. You, you gotta, we gotta, we gotta do better. We gotta do better. I'll see you in the next video.